All species have complex interactions with the other species around them. Studying the ways that species interact with each other is important for ecologists because it can influence several factors, including the number of animals in a population, their age composition, feeding habits, where the species live, disease transmission, and predation. It's important to understand what impact species interactions have on these factors in order to predict how ecosystems will be affected under ongoing global change. When two species interact, it can be good for one and neutral for the other, or beneficial for both. But the most common interactions in mammals are either bad for one and beneficial for the other, or detrimental to both. These are the two types that are focused on in a recent paper in Remote Sensing in Ecology and Conservation. One way to look at these types of interactions is to assess the partitioning of species, whereby they adapt so that they can coexist by changing their behaviour, avoiding being in the same spaces at the same times. Here, partitioning is grouped into two types. The first is spatiotemporal avoidance. If one species visits an area, Will another species pick up cues through smell, sight or sound? And avoid that area for a period of time afterwards. The other type is temporal segregation. This involves looking at species daily activity patterns to estimate if they've shifted their behaviour in response to another species. Studying partitioning like this is difficult in wild, medium and large mammals. This study looks at whether it's possible to use camera traps, technology which allows researchers to capture photos of rare or cryptic animals remotely, to infer that partitioning is happening, which could give ecologists one way of seeing whether two species are interacting. Statistical tests were conducted based on simulated camera trap data. The aim was to create a framework that researchers could use to detect interactions between species based on their own camera trap data. For spatiotemporal avoidance, it was concluded that it was possible to detect whether there was an interaction between two species using typical camera trap data, as long as there was enough data and the avoidance was strong, for example, if a species avoided an area for a matter of days rather than minutes or hours, after another species had been present. For temporal segregation, similarly, it was also possible, with enough data, to detect where the species had shifted their daily activity patterns to avoid another species, but only if they'd shifted their behaviour by at least two to three hours. As the amount of data needs to be high, these methods work best for more common species that are frequently captured by camera traps. Interactions between species are complex, and species have a wide range of ways of changing their behaviour to avoid interactions, not just time and behaviour could also change depending on other factors. This means that the framework created could offer guidance for researchers who are exploring the ways two species interact, but needs to be expanded to take into account different circumstances. This research supports calls to standardise the way that data is collected and to join up different studies. This would help us to better understand a key topic of ecology, how species interact.